it continues to bear down on Belize and also the Yucatan P Peninsula. New statement is out, and here's hurricane expert Dr. Steve Lyons with the very latest information. Well, thanks, Melissa, and we don't really have too much of a change from what we had earlier. Winds are still 135 miles per hour. I'll get to it when we get to the information frame. Let's look at the large-scale picture of the tropics first. We've been monitoring, of course, this very dangerous Category 4 hurricane that's uh, wrecking havoc along the coast of uh, Central America, primarily uh, northern Belize and uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. We also have a tropical storm here moving through the islands, and right now that's relatively uneventful. Some heavy rain, some gusts of wind, primarily I think the strongest winds are Barbados gusting to about 40 miles per hour, and that's on the back side of it, and a hurricane up here moving well out into the North Atlantic and not of any concern anymore. Here's the latest on Keith, and let me read you the latest information. The current location is 17.9 north, 87.7 west. And that's about 55 miles uh, southeast of Chetamal, Mexico, or about 50 miles east-northeast of Belize City. Winds still 135 miles an hour, pressure the same. And so we haven't seen any change yet, but the hurricane hunters are on their way out, and we may see some adjustments to it. Here's the latest in, uh, information based on the visible satellite image, and you can see the visible circulation center drifting slowly to the south right along the coast. Now, the worst possible situation to be in is right on the north side of the eye wall here where you'd have very strong winds onshore surge of on on the order of 8 to 12 feet and a very high surf on the order of 15 to 20 feet so that's affecting all the coast all along here and it's going to continue on to the south if the system continues southward over the next few hours now we do expect it to eventually turn and take a turn back to the north and enter the Gulf of Mexico over the next 36 to 48 hours However, we haven't seen that turn yet, so our uncertainty in the uh, track is still a little bit large. We have seen some reports of uh, winds to 83 miles per hour, a few gusts to 110 miles per hour have reported at some of the islands just offshore here in the hurricane warning area. You can see the hurricane warning and watch area uh, associated with it. And Belize is included in it down to uh, uh, the uh, southern portions. Now, in the infrared imagery, you can see the circulation is not near as impressive as it was earlier today, even though the winds are the same. It appears that the land is starting to have some impact on it, and weakening could uh, uh, occur soon. We'll have to wait for the hurricane hunters to get out there to see what's going on there. We also uh, have our expected impact is wind and rain is the big impact. Wave and surge is not the big problem. Our other system is relatively weak, moving through the islands, and will eventually potentially become a hurricane in the northern Caribbean. Let's get back to the studio. And across the lower 48, we've also been watching an area of low... And welcome back to the Weather Channel as we kick off our Stormwatch coverage this hour. Of course, Keith is the big story uh, really impacting the Yucatan and Mexico and Belize right now. Let's get the latest from the National Hurricane Center. We'll also talk uh, a little bit about Joyce and Isaac. Joyce could be a problem again later on in the week. That's not out of the question. We'll start off with the Atlantic Basin and just kind of pinpoint all three features. Isaac is basically out of here, spinning away through the North Atlantic, now a tropical storm. This is a extra tropical low bringing some rain and wind to the Carolinas. This is Joyce in the windwards and this is Keith here hugging the coast. Let's get the latest now as of 1 o'clock central, 2 o'clock eastern and our next advisory from the Hurricane Center will be at 4 central, 5 eastern. Every three hours we get an update because there are warnings and watches out and we'll probably get a pressure update before then because the hurricane hunters, the Air Force Reconnaissance folks are out looking at it. Last we heard, 942 millibars. It puts it just off the coast, southeast of Chetamao, and about 50 miles northeast of Belize City, and the movement is nearly stationary. Keith, with 135 mile an hour winds, that makes it a Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale, so it is a major hurricane, intensified rapidly. Yesterday, if you were watching the Weather Channel, it just uh, bottomed out very quickly. Here is the center. Uh, notice how the uh, cloud tops warm up in the center the colder cloud tops surround, surrounding, this is a central dense overcast, and still a pretty good outflow with high pressure aloft. But it is feeling the effect of land and likely over the next uh, day or so, it's expected to move inland and weaken. Right now though, it's still a category four hurricane. And the area along and to the north or to the right of the center is getting battered with the surf, uh, storm surge likely 10 feet or more. 
Rainfall, again, a major concern, 15 to 20 inches, if not more, with a hurricane that's barely moving. These whole areas are just getting blinding tropical rains, and it's unrelenting. There's our visible shot. The eye has filled in with some cloud debris just off this little tip of land, a little town here called San Pedro. They have evacuated some people, not a whole lot of people, from some small fishing villages. That's about it. So far, looking okay up around Cozumel and Cancun, but they're ready to evacuate if necessary all those vacationers and tourists. Hurricane warnings up, hurricane watches, and where does it go? We think it's going to slowly move in this direction over the next couple of days. Right now, it's still drifting south and west, but it, the general track takes it back into the Gulf of Mexico. And for those of us in the United States, if you're along the Gulf Coast, just be watching and be prepared. No uh, reason to be panicking at this point. Too early to say exactly where it may end up. Tropical Storm Joyce, on the other hand, has moved through the islands this morning with gusty winds to 30 to 35 miles an hour and some rainfall. It's moving west-northwest at 16. It continues to weaken. Barely a tropical storm. Could be downgraded to a tropical depression later on today, but forecast bring it back up to a tropical storm and then a hurricane three days out as it moves through the central into the western Caribbean. So we're going to have to, again, keep tabs on this as the winds now are minimal tropical storm force at 40 miles an hour as it moves south of the Grenadines and Grenada and moves away from the Windward Islands. Just some rain and wind, as our visible shot indicates. A little uh, shower and thunderstorm action here as the tropical rains move on through. Isaac, by the way, pulling away a tropical storm. No more problems with him. Yeah. In Japan, the art of... Here in Stormwatch, we'll cover the tropics. We've got the latest in from the National Hurricane Center on Keith and Joyce. And let's take a look at the uh, Atlantic Basin first and show you uh, three systems. Isaac, no longer a threat to anything. It's continuing to weaken. Maybe a little rough uh, water for some of those northern Atlantic shipping and marine interests for the shipping lanes up there. But other than that, uh, things are pretty quiet in those areas. That is weakened as it runs into the colder water. Here is Joyce now downgraded as of 5 Eastern to a tropical depression. And let's give you the latest on Keith as it now wobbles westward into the areas of Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, ignore the numbers on the screen. We just got this and we'll have it to you graphically in uh, about 10 or 15 minutes. As of 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 Central, located at 17.9 North and 87.9 West. So it has jogged a little to the west, but has not changed its northern um, latitudes, still 17.9 north. That still puts it about 50 miles south-southeast of Chetamal, Mexico, or 40 miles northeast of Belize City. Those are the two towns, Chetamal right here, Belize City right in here. It's drifting slowly to the west, still expected to turn and move to the north and west over the next uh, day or so. We expect that to begin sometime on Monday. That's the current forecast thinking. Sustained winds have been dropped from 135 miles an hour to 125 miles an hour. So that means it's no longer a Category 4, but now a Category 3 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson, uh, Simpson scale. And the pressure, once again, 951 millibars. Rainfall amounts could easily exceed 15 to 20 inches. And we did get one report from San Pedro on Ambergris K, K. That's an area we'll show you here on the satellite loop. They had sustained winds recently of 120 miles an hour. That's that little spit of land right here, right near the eye wall. 120 mile an hour sustained winds. Heavy rains affecting the Yucatan back into Guatemala and Central America. And that will likely cause localized flooding. In these areas where we have mountains, that it, uh, certainly increases the risk of not only just plain old flash flooding, but mudslides as the water comes down the mountainsides and hillsides. This area here is relatively flat, not a lot of uh, hilly terrain, but still a lot of rainfall, and we expect it to track and reemerge into the Gulf of Mexico over the next uh, two to three days. Watches and warnings are still up for the same areas. Those have not changed. So certainly uh, we're going to have to keep a close eye on the risk of flooding. That is occurring already and any impact on the resorts to the north. As far as Joyce is concerned, the latest as of, uh, let me give you the latest. We just got this in, but it's still uh, now moving off to the west-northwest. It is now a tropical depression. And it's now located at 11.9 north and 62.8 west, or about 75 miles west of Grenada. Uh, they have not been able to find any um, winds over a hurricane, over, over a tropical storm force. Some of the wind gusts in the eastern rain bands around Barbados were clocked at 40 miles an hour in this area, but it continues to move 
into the Caribbean could re-intensify sometime by the middle part of the week. More on your local weather is coming up.